Now for some good news for America's heart health. In a surprising new study, researchers say the number of heart attacks in Northern California fell by almost 25% between 2000 and 2008. They also found a 62% decline in the most damaging type of heart attack. What does this all mean? Why should we move there? Let's bring in our Dr. Jennifer Ashton to find out. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. What was this study all about? Here's the actual study. It came out of the New England Journal of Medicine, which is really the Bible of medicine. Very well done, very well collected data. They found that actually there were fewer heart attacks and fewer deaths from heart attacks mm -hmm. over this eight-year period, despite the fact that, as we all know, obesity rates in this country right. are rising Detection significantly. methods, everything else? Well, that's the interesting thing. We are getting better at diagnosing and detecting heart attacks, and we're definitely getting better at treating them. That explains why the number of deaths has gone down. Okay. What's interesting here is that this data shows, or at least implies, that we may actually be getting better at preventing heart attacks in the first place. Part of the thinking there is that might be better due to better lifestyle mm -hmm. modifications. So for example, if you look at blood pressure control, right. in the Kaiser Permanente system, they had, in 1999, only 40% of the patients in their system met the target levels for blood pressure control. Hmm. In 2008, that rate doubled, Harry. Wow. So 80% of patients wow. had good blood pressure control. We know that blood pressure control is key do they know, in preventing heart disease. Do they, I know this is, this is an odd question, but do they know if it is primarily aided by medication or if it's lifestyle or we well, just know it doubled, which is really significant. Good question. You know, in Northern California, people tend to think, look, this is a very healthy mm. part of the country. While that might be true, in terms of their demographic data, they had diversity here. So mm. they had people across right. all kinds okay. of profiles, and they really think that aggressive medication, right. like statins, which mm -hmm. we hear so mm -hmm. much about, aspirins or another medication called right. beta blockers, in conjunction with right. things we can control, right. like exercise and stopping smoking, how may does, be at play. How does this section of the country measure up against other sections of the country. Well, look, when you look at the nationwide rates, you know, heart disease continues to be the number one killer for men and women. Mm -hmm. Across the country in 2006, there were 81 million people thought to have coronary artery disease, about 10% of which, 8.5 million, had a heart attack. So when you look at various parts of the country, you do see some differences. And if right. you look at a map, southeast parts of the country, very high rates of heart disease. We need to target those areas better. That's also better. a hotbed of obesity. <laughs> Absolutely. A lot of those states now with enormous obesity exactly. rates. Exactly. What are the numbers? I guess remind us again, our heart healthy numbers, the numbers we really need to pay attention very to. Very important. Blood pressure largely is 120 over 80. You need to keep both those numbers in control. And when you're talking about total cholesterol levels, under 200, if you have high risk factors for heart disease or if you have known heart disease, your LDL has to be under 100. All right, Napa Valley, here we come. <laughs> exactly. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you so you much. Better. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.